Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over Orca sending MIDI CC messages to my Electron Octatrack. Um, there aren't very many tutorials online about Orca in general, and especially not about Orca and the way it sends MIDI CC. So I'd like to go over that today. Um, in Orca, the uh, first uh, command period to choose your MIDI device, you can see on the bottom right hand corner, uh, it cycles through the devices. Control period if you're on a, um, a Windows. The operator for sending MIDI CC is the exclamation point, and it takes three inputs channel, knob, and value. Now, because the um, range of values in Orca is from 0 to 36, um, there is a self command or script command um, cc uh, 64, let's say. Um, for this, the default uh, MIDI CC offset is 64, which means that if this knob value is zero, it's going to send from knob 64 and up, so that you can um, sort of hone in on the range of, of um, CC values you want to send. Uh, so if I set this to zero, then this is going to be the very first knob, um, because there's no offset. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bang this. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we want to hear that. So we want to hear some changes in MIDI CC. Uh, so I'm going to set up a sample. I already have a sample set up on my Octatrack uh, here. Just a little, a little ambient synth going on. Um, this is on track four. So I have a little handy dandy notebook here telling me uh, what um, the Orca command is or what the MIDI note number is for triggering uh, certain samples on tracks on the Electron Octatrack. Um, so you can see track 4 is D flat 2, um, which is D in the second octave. D flat in the second octave, and then the Orca command for that is 3 1 D. 3 because there's an offset, um, it starts off from 0, so 0 is 1 in this sense. So MIDI com the MIDI command for this is uh, um, colon uh, 3 1 and then lowercase d. Now if we bang this, we should uh, hear... Awesome. Now one, um, one way we can use MIDI CC is to change the pitch, because that is our first parameter on this um, uh, uh, playback menu, um, is pitch. Uh, the MIDI CC for that, I also have... Um, a list showing me the sort of ranges for the CC, so 16 to 21 are the playback parameters. Uh, so if we set this MIDI offset to 16, and then we send on the third channel, on the fourth channel, which is 3, um, and then knob 0, which would be 16 in this case because we're sending that. I'm just going to duplicate this bang so that it bangs the whole command. Um, we're sending to knob 0, which is 16 in this case because we're giving an offset. And then we want the value, let's say, 0. So you can see uh, my pitch changed. My pitch changed down here to the lowest value. If I put Z, uh, you can see it changed to the highest value. Just turn this time stretch off. So, because the range is from zero to thirty-six, it's going to distribute that over the uh, over one twenty-seven, which is the the maximum CC range. For pitch, it's in semitones. It shows you here, but for something like um, 
something like width it's going to show 0 to 127 that's the maximum range of values um, so I've done that and we can send this a sequence so if you want to get more um, precise with making sequences and sending pitch information to the uh, track uh, we can do something like um, X this just transports a value so we're going to transport it one, two, three, to where that pitch would be. Three on the x-axis. Transports that down. I'm just pressing space bar so that we're not hearing any sound so I can I can talk to you guys. Um, and then a sequence. So T, you can't get really precise with the pitches, but you can sort of send a sequence. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give T four inputs and then clock them. Uh, at the same rate as I'm clocking this, which is gonna be four now. And then we'll fill T with cafe. Actually, this four needs to go on this side and it's gonna to count to four, yes. So you're not going to get perfect pitches because it's not, it's not, it's distributing it over, over 36 so you only have so much accuracy. Um, but that is a way to send pitch a sequence. You can also do this to pretty much any parameter. So if I wanted to do the start position, I could do another CC just down here. send it to three, the fourth channel, uh, knob, this time it would be two, uh, one, because the second one, uh, so one is two in, in Orca, and the second one start position, uh, second one with the offset 16, so really I'm sending it to MIDI CC knob ID 17 here with this offset. Um, and yeah, and then a random value between 127. So that's going to choose a random start position, hopefully. You can't really tell on this sample because most of it is a pad, but if I do something like um, an almond break, just a classic. So uh, maybe something a little bit more useful if I go into here and I do slice and I create a slice grid, let's say 16 slices. Now when I do this, it's going to cycle the slices because I'm turning slice on. Although it's going to want to go to slice 64, we don't have 64 slices. Um, so I'm going to limit this range down to 5 maybe?
so you have a shorter range. Now something really fun that I like to do all the time is change the delay time. Now we're gonna um, give this bang a random value between zero and four, zero and five. And um, let's add another CC message to the same track, so three, uh, and now we're setting to knob, um, a knob that's pretty far out, uh, the second, the second, um, effects, uh, page, which would be effects from 34, effects from MIDI CC 34 to 45, so 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 is the delay time, which is what I want to trigger. Um, so if we're on 16, I'm going to use a calculator because I'm stupid. 41 minus 16 equals 25. So that's still within the range of, of 36, so we can get to that. Um, 25 in Orca, I'm just going to count because it's easier, A, L, M, N, O. So O is the 25th channel. Um, and then a random value. I'm also gonna turn slices off because it's just it's just funner when they're not when they don't stop. And then I'll change that back to that just that, that whole range. And then um, yeah, turn up the delay send. So as you can tell, MIDI CC is something very powerful. Uh, you can send it to a lot of different shit. Um, you can control the crossfader. I won't even get to that. Uh, this is a that's a list of all the, the CC messages on the Octatrack. 40 is crossfader. That would be out of our range if we wanted to control something from MIDI CC 16. Would it be? No, it wouldn't, because this is 45. Okay, so we could, but that's a whole nother breed of, of something. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, maybe CC is very powerful. Um, please subscribe to my Patreon. I might be doing a video on even more maybe CC, maybe MIDI loopback. Some different techniques to do on the Octatrack. Um... It would help me out, even just subscribing, so that I have more money to do more things that I like for people like you guys that support me and give you guys some more feedback information on stuff that you are working on, etc, etc, um, interacting with um, my fellow music makers on a more personal level. Um, so thank you, not personal like that, but like, you know, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully everything was in focus. See you next time.